I don't know how this kind of tech exists, but it does. I found a company that made a robot we all actually need. This is my go-to now when life gets messy. And after watching this video, you are going to want one too. This is the world's first and only robot that embodies human intent in cleaning. Let's go. This right here is the X-Lean TR1. This is called the Omni Station that we got over here. And I'm going to show you exactly how this is going to make my life so much easier. Gonna pull this forward, look at this. Pull it forward, you pull it out. The robot is going to come out by itself, by the way. And then look, it went down, you're going to plug it in right here. Look at that. That's it. I'm going to pull it back. And it starts by itself. Oh, it has a motor. I don't even need to do much, to be quite honest. You can twist it. The flexibility on that is just incredible. Okay, let's go clean up my mess right now. Let's see how it cleans. One, two, three, let's go. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Let's look at the egg. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, there's absolutely not even a little bit of egg yolk still on this floor. It's absolutely incredible. So let's finish cleaning this. So this is one machine that has two forms, zero mess. This right here is the handheld form. This is for emergencies, the things that happen every day when we're late for work and we gotta clean. So now the emergency is done, right? I'm going to put this back. The robot is going to come back. So here's the thing, I'm not a neat freak, right? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love a clean house, but I don't love cleaning. But sometimes life happens. The coffee spill when you're rushing, you're already late for work, the crumbs when you're walking barefoot, the who dropped this kind of moments. And every time it's like robot vacuums can't handle it. Handheld vacuums are never charged and mops are just annoying. It turns into a whole situation. So when I found out that there's something that actually switches modes depending on the mess, robot when life is calm and handheld instantly when the chaos hits, I was like, okay, show me and show me now. Okay guys, this is where the fun starts right now. I am going to make a mess on purpose and we are going to stress test this beautiful thing right here. Okay, so first, we got cat litter. My mom will appreciate this because my mom's house is full of cat litter. Let's spray that everywhere. Ooh, my favorite. What is this? It's Oreo cookies, okay. Let's make a mess here. Ooh, okay. Some sprinkles, make it look pretty. That looks good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ugh, we got some tomato soup. I mean, if this isn't gonna clean this, I don't know if this will work. Oh, this does not look good. But I mean, if, especially if you have kids, right? This is gonna be the mess. Ugh, oh, that does not look good. Okay, are we ready? Let's go. Okay, here we go. And did I mention, it is going to find the mess by itself. Woo. Look at that, nothing. 
Oh, beautiful. Let's see. Come on. Do it. Oh, no. That can't be real. Did you see that? Oh, impressive little robot. Look at how clean the floor. It just went straight through here. It's absolutely nothing. And now it's still going to carry on to clean here. Look at that. Let me test this. This is weird, but I'm going to take a tissue. As you can see, the tissue is clean. Okay, are you ready? Take the floor, wipe it. Look at that. Not even a hint of dust on this piece of paper. I mean, you can lick it if you wanted to. Oh, <laughs> wow. This is the part that honestly made me interested in the first place because I hate cleaning the vacuum. Who doesn't? right the smell no thank you this base station washes the mop empties dirty water refills clean water and even disinfects the system it literally maintains itself the omni station automatically cleans most of the dirty water and grime the only thing you need to do is remove and clean the filter every two to four weeks that already sounds so much better to me so today I made it to the factory to see where it all began, where it's getting tested to become better and better. So here what they do, they compare it to competitor brands. So they will mess it up here, make the same amount of mess there, and then they will see how can they make their product better than this one to clean better, to clean faster. That one's already finished. This one takes so long. Yeah. <laughs> Your product is better because it can see where the mess is, right? Yeah. That's yeah. why this is better than this, because this one clean everywhere, but that one goes straight where it's very messy, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah more. Oh, double, double the time? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> So you can, I mean, you can see that is just you. Let me try on this side. Yeah. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Look at how clean is this. I can lick this piece. Look, that one's already cleaning itself, being charged, drying it, ready to go again. And this one is still busy and it's going back. And I mean, it's not even finished. Look at this. No, the TR1, I get it. This isn't just a robot cleaner. It's a robot with common sense. It cleans on its own, but it can also help you in those emergency mess moments when life just happens. If you love early tech innovations or you just really hate cleaning like me, I'm going to leave the link to the Kickstarter down below and I'm definitely getting my mom one. So mom, you're welcome. But a bigger thank you to Xlean for letting me make a mess and mostly for letting me not hate cleaning that much. So this TR1 will make my life so much easier. So these are the two founders of Xlean. So can you just tell us a bit about yourself? What's your name? How old are you? And how did you come by this idea? Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Xue Kehan. I'm a CEO and uh, a founder of Actually Robotics. Yeah, um, I'm 24 years old. Yeah, I was a PhD student in the Chinese University of Hong Kong, but I joined the, the, the PhD program and uh, with the, this startup. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Okay. So hello, I am Liu Junduo, and I'm 
24 years old. Oh, wow. Also, yes. Uh, so I am the product manager of uh, Exley. I used to go to the uh, University of Hong Kong and uh, I dropped and I dropped it too. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, it's worth it because I think the product that I saw today will be very successful. Yes. So Thank you very, much. very, yeah. very good idea. Yeah. Okay, so the first question that I want to ask you guys that I think we all have is why buy your product instead of another robot vacuum? Okay, okay. Uh, our robot have many features that no no other robot has. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the first one is the dual form transformable. It has a robot mode and the handheld mode. Mm. Yeah, the robot mode masters the daily cleaning and the handheld mode for emergency cleaning. When you spill a coffee or milk on the floor, Maybe use a mop or a wet and dry mm. vacuum cleaner mm. yeah, to clean it. We just uh, build uh, our robot. Yeah, the robot you can take all the cleaning tasks in your home. Yeah, one robot for all. So I don't think any robot vacuum is a hundred percent good, right? So mm -hmm. you know, please be honest with us. What does your robot not do? What does it struggle with doing? Our robot cannot work on the carpet. Oh, the carpet, okay. Yes, yes but it's just a uh, uh, decision. Yeah, when we, yeah. Oh, so it's a decision oh. you made on purpose? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, because the, the cleaning on the hard floor or the, on the carpet is very different. But we found that we just interviewed the potential users about 600. They told us they, they, don't, they don't want like, the vacuum cleaners. Yeah. To go to the carpet, yeah, because the button of the we can clean, the robot oh. vacuum cleaner is very dirty. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 like yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't feel comfortable. It clean the egg and now has to clean the carpet. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Yes, yeah, they prefer to use the uh, more pro tools mm. to to clean the carpet, such as the dry vacuum cleaners, yeah. uh, such as this. Yeah. Yeah. And so on, yeah. But actually then, I don't think it's a problem you have, it's just the decision yeah. you made. It can clean the floor. Yes. Everyone has floors in their apartment, not everyone has carpet. Yes, so yes. I agree with yes. you. Uh, we want our robot to solve the problems which the people are struggling to solve it. Yes. Yeah, such as the, the big messes yeah. on the hard floor, yeah, such as liquid, solid, liquid mixtures and so on. Yeah. So we designed the two forms and we, we built the powerful cleaning performance. So, so I, I use the product and I really like the way that we can do manual mode but for the normal robot mode mm -hmm. how did you get it to you know be faster to learn the area better with all the obstacles? Uh, the robot can work faster than uh, the robot vacuum in the market because it can feel it can know the how dirty the floor is maybe 99 percent of your floor is clean but uh, just one percent is more uh, a little bit dirty so it's clean very fast on the floor where it is very clean but it can feel the masses and uh, uh, slow down the speed and uh, take up the power to clean uh, the dirty area uh, more powerful it's more uh, effective than any other robot in the uh, in the market. Okay, so my next question is, what was the hardest part for you guys in developing this product? Yeah, okay, the hardest part of uh, in developing is the separation of the air and the water. We build a, a fully new cleaning system, we call it the dual motor direct suction system. The robot lift all the uh, liquid, solid and air into the robot but the air go out and the waste stay in the robot it is very difficult and we uh, struggle about this for uh, like three three years and uh, in the station the station can separate the liquid and solid in the dirty water tank in the station and uh, uh, to prevent order uh, no one has solved the so, yeah. Oh, no one okay. solved this problem, and you solved yes. it. Yeah, we are the first. We are the first one. Yeah, and, uh, and in these three years, we had built about thirty prototypes to test uh, the structure, and we need to work on it 
more and more better. <laughs> and then, I mean, I saw how it cleans. It cleans amazing, which is the main function, right? It's yes. a vacuum clean, needs to clean, it does that very well. Yeah. When can we buy your product? Like, when will your product, when do you plan to bring the product into the market? Okay. Uh, our product will be uh, coming soon on Kickstarter. And we will deliver our product in about uh, um, four to five months later. Okay, yeah. so now if someone wants to go and find your product, they can click on the, the Kickstarter yeah, yeah. link. I'll put that yes. link down in the description, go check it out. Yeah, okay. Exactly. Yes. okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. from a consumer's perspective, I feel like we are more invested into a product when we know who mm -hmm. you guys are, mm -hmm. you know, where you come from, what you do. So can you tell me a little bit more about x mm -hmm. and yeah. the team that you have here? Yeah, the founder team, all, we have many experience in robots and, uh, and other hard, uh, AI hardware and so on, yeah. Mm -hmm. such as, uh, uh, though I'm only 24 years old, but I have developed robots about uh, eight years, yeah, eight years, yeah, eight years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so you've always had an interest in robotics, right? Ever yes, since you yeah, were younger. Yeah. University, yeah, uh, we have participated in many robot competitions. Yes, yeah, so actually I am uh, in the same robotic lab uh, with him uh, yeah, okay. in the university. And oh, wow. We, uh, yeah. we joined uh, many competitions about robotics. And uh, mm. uh, we really want to build a robot that can help people's li lives. So, uh, and we, uh, both of us, uh, drop from the, uh, university. another university. <laughs> yes, yes, and we really want to uh, build a, the robot can um, really bring the convenience mm. for the people. I went to the Canton Fair and yes, there were so uh, many robots and it was cool yeah. but not a lot of people can use those robots yes, yeah, but course, your robot yeah. every single family messes every single family yes. uses a mop or a vacuum cleaner and now they can actually use this yes. yeah I made a lot of videos with products but this is like the first product that I actually want for myself you okay. know <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. when it's ready please let me know yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, ready no problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much for having okay. me and uh, it was an honor to, you know, show the, the world mm -hmm. the product that you made today and I, you know, it's going okay. to change the world and this video is where it all started. So uh -huh. thank okay. you guys yeah. so thank much. You. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank yes, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Guys, what a fun video we had today. We made a mess. We found something amazing that we all need. And thanks for sticking with me until the end. Share this video with someone who really needs this kind of vacuum cleaner and I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye!